This is the 2013 Lighting Science Group Motion Par with Bluetooth Low Energy Interface, Bluetooth 4.0. Um, you can see that this is a, uh, it's based on a PAR 30. It's got uh, 10, LEDs, 10 LEDs, 10 LEDs you can see there, um, and it's motion activated. It's got a PIR, uh, passive infrared sensor in the center here, and when it detects motion, it turns the bulb on, and then when the motion goes away, it turns the bulb off, like that. Um, so it's a, it's a great design, it's very lightweight, uh, there's a lot of uh, air in there which keeps the bulb cool. The, uh, the bulb uses LEDs, it's not incandescent or compact fluorescent, so the energy usage is very low, it's uh, typically 8 watts. A little less than that. A little right less now. than that right now. Okay, so maybe closer to seven. Um, so uh, we have a we have a Bluetooth app for your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, uh, and you can see that um, you can you can name it whatever you want. This one happens to be named Backyard. Uh, but you can you can have multiple devices. Each one of the devices has its own address. It's a Bluetooth address, um, uh, which is which is basically a MAC address. Um, you can see on this first screen of the app that it's got a motion indicator. Uh, uh, the more motion there is, the higher the uh, the bar goes. Uh, and then when there's no motion, it just kind of just kind of drops down. So that's handy. Uh, the range on this is pretty good. We've tested it up to about 30 feet uh, that the, the app remains in communication with the bulb. So you can be 30 feet away and you can still communicate with it. Uh, uh, so if you hit the information icon at the lower right, uh, you see the things that you can configure about this particular device. So you can see that you can name it. Uh, you can configure the bright level, the dim level, the threshold, which is kind of a range and sensitivity setting, you can uh, you can configure it to trip on the uh, slightest hint of motion, or you can make it very insensitive, where it needs a lot of big motion close by to trigger it, uh, and that's configurable. And then you can also configure the time delay, the amount of time that the light stays on after it sees motion. So, um, uh, uh, so you can configure the time delay for between um, 5 seconds and 20 minutes. Uh, so we hope you have enjoyed our demo. We think it's a very fine product and we'll do a little bit more work on it and pretty soon it'll be available to the to the public. Uh, so this is a great this is a great demo mode from the app you can turn the light on and off uh, so, as you can see, uh, here's the app. You can, if you touch the picture of the bulb, it turns it on, and then, and then if you press the picture again, it toggles it, and uh, in this case, it turns it off. So, that's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for watching.